Sup everyone, I'm your female Otaku, and I'm here to review the finale episode of Ushio to Tora. Quite the journey we've had. And I really like how they ended the episode too with that one yokai telling us about. Hold, hold, hold on, I, I, I'm skipping ahead. I'm skipping ahead. Let me start from the beginning. At the beginning of the episode, Hakumen admits that Tora is correct. Hakumen not only fears the Beast Spear and Ushio and Tora, but is also admires them and hates them. And Tora was all like, man, I pity you. And Hakumen got so mad, went on a rampage, and even gouged out its own eyes. But in the end, Hakumen was defeated thanks to the power of friendship. <laughs> uh, it, it wouldn't be a shonen unless you had a little bit of that, right? Like you, you gotta have at least a little bit of the power of friendship. <laughs> but it, I like how it was done. How it was done, I thought it was executed really well. This Tora, he decided to hide the beast sphere within him. No, not like in a magical way, but literally in a stabbing kind of way, you know? He hid the beast sphere within him by stabbing it. By, by, by um, impaling himself. And Hakumen w was able to find them because Hakumen was able to sense the beast sphere, but since the beast sphere is now hidden inside Tora, Hakumen was freaking out. And in the end, Tora said that he no longer hates Hakumen. So when Hakumen finally died, it was just a, like someone, just to say my name, just murmur it or whisper anyone, just any bit that would help. And then Hakuman's all like, no, 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 I don't want to be called Hakuman. The name I really want to be called is... I'm guessing the name H Hakuman wants to be called is... Yang. Since Hakuman admired, feared, hated the Yang. Hakuman, ever since Hakuman was little, wanted to become light. Did not want to become darkness and hatred and everything that's evil. But unfortunately that's what it became. And it lived off of all of that, all of everyone's hatred. Hakumen, I can't tell if it died or if it's gonna get reincarnated, but according to the yokai at the end of the episode, when yokai, when the yokai said, oh, you, you miss them? And you're gonna miss all the yokai as well? And let me tell you something. Humans are born on the earth and they die on the earth. And when they die, some of those souls return. And those are yokai. So, hmm, Hakumen might be reincarnated. Same with Tora. And only a few yokai was left behind since the majority of the other yokai became stone so that they could hold up Japan so that Japan would no longer sink. So I think we're supposed to assume that Hakumen comes back and gets reincarnated. And same with Tora, that Tora is also going to come back. Because at the end, you just heard the, their little classic banter being like, Shut up, you! Like, huh. I'm going to miss those too. A really, really nice partnership those guys had. I liked their relationship from beginning to end. Man, I cannot believe I stuck with this anime. I'm glad that you guys told me to continue to review this. Like, I want to review all of season one, but then I got busy. So I only reviewed like episodes one to nine, one to ten, something like that. But I'm glad that you guys wanted me to continue to review this. Yeah, thank you for that. Other stuff that happened with this episode is a month later or so, it was time for graduation and Ushio and his parents are back together. Omamori decided to close the gates so that Saya wouldn't have to and I'm really happy because I did not want Saya to go. I did not want that. I love Saya, man. Even though many comrades left, they are still around us and I really like that feeling. Awesome anime, really good shonen. I really liked the classic 90s shonen vibe that it had, since you know the manga was from the 90s. Still really enjoyed it, so happy that I was able to continue to review this anime. Thank you for requesting it. And I certainly will not forget this anime. Let me know your overall thoughts. My rating for this anime, I'd have to give it an 8.5, maybe a 9. If it was an 8.5 or 9 out of 10, it was really enjoyable. I loved it from beginning to end, honestly. And besides, retro always wins. And speaking of retro, catch you later as I do a live reaction to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 4, Diamond is Unbreakable. That transition though, not gonna lie, that was pretty good. <laughs> I'm your female otaku, Sayonara.